Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play Beware by Big Sean. And we're going to end up capoing this on first fret. But we start out with kind of a cool little intro where you can play just the open B string. And we end up doing that uh, eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then right after that, we end up kind of going, or actually, we do that twice. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we kind of start out with just the open B string. Oh, 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 oh. Then we kind of start our main leg that kind of lasts through the rest of the song where you kind of play the open E string five times one two three four five and then we go to fourth fret on the B string three times and then we play open B four times and then we play it another four times and then we go back to the open E five times and then fourth fret on the B string three times and then we play an open B string and we do that four times and then another two times and then we go to second fret on the G string the note you're actually kind of playing actually if we're gonna start with that open B interlude we're going B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B and then our main lick is gonna be that E E E E E D sharp B E D sharp B A now the chords that kind of back that up though we actually start kind of backing up that open B string with the E minor chord for our intro and then we play E minor first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret second finger on the D string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that sounds like E minor chord and it sounds really really sad and so we'd end up kind of doing, doing that E minor kind of twice in the very very beginning and then when we hit our open E string actually we go into a C major chord for our main part and then we play C major first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and if you kind of strum from the A string to the high E string, that'll get your clearest sound, and that sounds C major. And then from the C major, we'd be going to a B7 chord to kind of back up that, that, that fourth fret on, on the B string. And the way you play B7, first finger's gonna go to the D string on the first fret, second finger on the A string on the second fret, third finger on the G string on the second fret, and the pinky on the high E string on the second fret. And if you kind of strum from the A string to the high E string, that sounds like a B7 chord. And then from the B7, we'll be going back to the E minor chord. The rest of our song, actually, we're just kind of repeating that C, B7, E minor. But a lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down. Up. So we took the E minor and just kind of tried that a lot. We had down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And then through the rest of the song, actually, it's almost like we're half in the C and the B7 and doing our whole strum pattern on E minor. So one way to do that is to kind of do a down, down up on the C and the B7. So we have C with a down, down up, B7 with a down, down up, E minor, down, down up, up, down, C, down, down up, B7, down, down up, E minor, down, down up, up, down, C, down, down up, B7, down, down up, E minor, down, down up, up, down, C, down, down up, B7, down, down you may want to think about kind of having those chords is doing the C with the down, down, up, and then go to B7 for the up, down, up, and then hit the E minor with the whole string. Down, down, up, up, down. So we have C with down, down, up, B7, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, C with the down, down, up, B7, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, C with the down, down, up, B7, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. That's something else I like to add to a song like this, though, too, is bass notes, and a lot of times you can kind of back yourself up this way solo and kind of imply having playing with a bass player. So one way to kind of do that is to take the down, down, up, up, down, up, and do kind of a bass down, up, up, down, up. So on the E minor, you can do the low E string for your bass, and then do your down, up, up, down, up. So E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down. And on the C chord, you have the A string for your bass on the C chord. And what we're doing is we're playing the lowest note that has the name of the chord. So even though we're playing the A string, we're actually playing a C note on the A string to kind of back up the C chord. And on the E7, you'd have the A string for your bass. Now I'm playing a B note to back up the E7 bass. Down, up, up, down. So one way to use that through our main verse chorus, actually, is to kind of do a bass down up on the C, bass down up on the B7, and then save the bass down up and down for the E minor. C with A bass, down up, B7 with A bass, down up, B7 with the B bass, down up. Bit more
more adventurous on that intro lick too, you could kind of throw in the bass notes to kind of apply those chords too. So on that open B at the beginning, you could kind of get the open E string to kind of back that note up. And then when you go to the open E string, you could kind of play the third fret on the A string at the same time. And I'm kind of doing that hybrid picking. You may want to think about finger style too. So I'm using my pick for my basses and my fingers to kind of play the other notes. And then when you go to that, that uh, second fret on the A string with the open E, this is going to be a little weird. And then you got the fourth on the B string. And then you got the open E with the open B string. So you can kind of add in some basses and kind of make that almost like a two part to kind of work it through the tune that way kind of kind of adding in some basses so that might be kind of a cool thing to kind of try you know kind of working the open E for those open B strings and then kind of working the third fret on the A string for kind of the C chord second fret on the A string for kind of your B7 lick and then kind of going back of that open E with the open B so it might be something else you want to kind of play around with Another strum pattern that could be cool to play around with too is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is right now if we're, you're tapping your foot of the beat, we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. And that's called an eighth note. One, two, one, two, one, two. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that foot tap into four parts. And this is, can be really challenging with this tune at the tempo, but it can be very, very cool too. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So when you divide the beat into four parts, we call it a 16th note. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, 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 down, up. So all together, you got long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. The weird thing is the scene that B7 is still kind of half. So you could do just a long down, down, down up on each of those chords. If we try it that way, you gotta see the down, 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 just a down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, see the down, 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 just a down. starting on, on an F minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on first fret, now your E minor is really an F minor, your C is really a D flat major chord, and your B7 is really a C7 chord. But if we took that from the very, very beginning, that way you could still kind of work your, your intro kind of with those open strings, with the open B, and then our main riff is kind of working that E, D sharp, or that's what we're thinking, B, B, E, D sharp. So you may want to kind of think about that. Or you could even kind of add in the basses with it. And then you'd have that, that uh, kind of the open E for, for the intro at the very, very beginning. And this might really be easier kind of finger style, actually. So you got your thumb for your bass player. So you may want to kind of experiment with that. So you got to kind of what this is going on for the C chord, and then the B chord, and then the E minor. C, B, E minor. Seven, you might want to kind of play around with that for the intro because people who know the song they go, oh my gosh, it's beware, I love the song. Right, but then there are a lot of ways you can kind of back up your voice. They're just working it as a strum pattern. 
So we tried our down, down, up, up, down, up, and kind of did just the down, down up on the C and the B7. And we'd have to see the down, down, B7, down, down, B minor, down. Down on, uh, on the first chord, or bass down up on the first chord, up down up on the second chord. And you'd have to see the bass down up, B7 up, down up, B7 up, down up, B7 down up, 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 down down But that's the basics of how you can strum through Beware by Big Sean featuring Lil Wayne. So good luck!